so that cable compartment humidity is uh, monitored and thereby the switch gear is protected by possible harm. Uh, nowadays we have uh, very efficient sensors very precise and accurate sensors which can be installed inside the switch gear and which will give you data 24 7 and uh, by doing that we can monitor internal arc actually happening hello everyone welcome to the part three of switch gear monitoring this is episode two of the electrical guy power panel and we are continuing our discussion with mr akash tadani the industry experts uh, from the medium voltage switch gear we are talking about switch gear monitoring we discussed about what is switch gear monitoring and what are the parameter that we must monitor then we also talked about the conventional methods and problems with that and in today's part, we will be talking about what is the solution to all those problems and what is the new technology that we see in the monitoring system of the switch gear. It's an interesting discussion and you will be learning about what is going on in the market right now. So make sure you watch the video till the end and take all the notes. So get your pen and paper ready and enjoy the video. Okay, now thanks for sharing those, Akash. We clearly know the problems of the existing methodology uh, that we use, the IR guns and uh, the other things. Uh, but in the modern monitoring systems, uh, we have now, we are not talking about the digitalization of the switch gear. How we are addressing these problems in the modern monitoring system? Can you please uh, share with us on that? Yes, Gaurav. Like we discussed, uh, the problems in those um, conventional methods First, it is a periodic measurement and not monitoring. Not monitoring. So how we can do that is uh, nowadays we have uh, very efficient sensors, very precise and accurate sensors, which can be installed inside the switch gear and which will give you data 24 seven. And there's no human involvement because sensors can be installed directly at certain points inside the switch gear. So yes, we can we can discuss more about types of sensors. Yes. So as you have rightly presented, so first point that we discussed is the hotspot generation points like cable termination, bus bar points. Those can be monitored continuously 24 seven by use of thermal sensors. These thermal sensors when installed near to the, uh, the joints will monitor temperature of the joints and when monitored 24 7 this uh, can be taken uh, as a reference like yes in a normal condition the temperature is let's say for example 50 degrees when it will rise from 50 degree to maybe 70 degrees yes there is a problem hmm. so and this, this we can, can be identified... install on all the cables that we have so we are not limited yes. with number of cables we are we are not limited we can uh, install that to every cable termination point and maybe to save cost we can we can maybe club like two cables one sensor so we can mm -hmm. do that as well so this this is what we can do and i think on the bus bars also we can uh, put that bus bar also yes near to the bus bar joints we can uh, install these thermal sensors to monitor the joints okay yes so these these will give you temperature data which can be like stored uh, uh, somewhere maybe inside the factory or maybe even to the cloud like we will discuss now now partial next is partial discharge sensors so these sensors when installed at the in the cable, cable compartment measure the partial discharge that is happening in the insulators and in uh, insulator heavy equipment like uh, this current transformer mm. potential transformer these are insulation heavy equipment so these are prone to have partial discharge Maybe not immediately after buying switch gear, but throughout the life of the switch gear that can be monitored using PD sensors. Okay. okay. Next is arc flash protection relays. Now relays, numerical relays are so advanced now that it can, it can be connected to a fiber sensor, which will sense the light inside the panel, different compartments of the switch gear, like cable compartment circuit breaker compartment and bus bar compartment and by doing that we can monitor internal arc actually happening okay mm -hmm. so internal arc if we talk about it ha it it is like a bomb we discussed so yeah. if if we if we uh, break internal arc within a certain duration of time it will reduce the damage that is happening to the switch gear 
so uh, if if we talk about a timeline okay if we if we interrupt uh, uh, within 100 milliseconds of internal arc happening okay it will it will save you uh, the bus bar insulation the, the sleeving of the bus bar and the cable termination also would be uh, intact uh, the insulation of the cable termination would would be intact uh, very minor damages would be there and that can be uh, solved in mm -hmm. very limited time it will not take much time so yes this arc flash protection relays are also like a boon to the switch gear uh, then we have environmental sensors as we discussed um, the humidity plays also a crucial role uh, for the life of insulation and thereby the life of panels so yes uh, we can install uh, environmental sensors these environmental sensors can like if you have very perfect condition very perfect cable seller and uh, you you are maintaining everything very properly then you need only one cable sensor cable uh, this uh, environment sensors environment. for the entire room and if at all you feel the conditions are not uh, likely for the switch gear you can have environmental sensors in all the panels in the cable compartment at least so hmm. that cable compartment humidity is uh, monitored and thereby the switch gear is protected by possible harms and that is depending on i think the cable entry so if it is bottom entry you can put it under the bottom chamber if it is yes. top entry you can put it uh, maybe on the top at the entry yes top entry. yes so that that you can decide on position of uh, these environmental sensors uh, that can be decided in consultation with uh, the customer also that where they feel that yes this is the entry point for humidity so, okay yes and that is there and uh, like we discussed these all sensors when connected to, to some data concentrator that will store the data okay that data can be like uh, on premise of the customer like local and that can also be taken to like cloud okay mm -hmm. let's say for example customer has factories all around india or maybe even all around the world okay that data if collected at a central cloud and that cloud has analytics okay if if those analytics are working 24/7 with the data that uh, the switch gears all around the world are giving see data when it is more it is helpful okay so if all yeah. data are going to one common cloud and there we do the analytics it will help prolong switch gear life entire like entirely for the company it would be very very useful mm. Okay, so yes. this is how they can they can implement it. Yeah, and cloud once, and then... yeah. Once the data is on cloud, I think you can also have it on the mobile devices. Like you can watch uh, how it's going, and the monitoring twenty four seven can be done. Definitely, and the costs that the analyzing softwares uh, in like any any software will have a um, cost, yes. right? Right. If we build a cloud, a central system, then we need only one software system to uh, mm. monitor the entire data, analyze it, and give results. Yeah, I think if if you have all these sensors installed, certainly the life of the switchgear will be prolonged. Uh, no doubt on that. Definitely. There can be significant amount of downtimes can be reduced. Uh, we can plan the maintenance activity well in advance and. Uh, uh, that will not cause any sort of uh, what you can say failures, uh, failures, downtimes, downtime, and true. thereby increasing reliability of the switch gear and then safety of the personnel also. Exactly, exactly. And once you have, I think, all these sensors, your switch gear actually can talk that okay, this Definitely. part of uh, my cable is not going good, or I have some humidity in my. Uh, cable compartment so like that it can happen the switchgear actually can talk right so switchgear panel can inform yes. boss something is wrong with my cable environment please check or maybe i have a lot of humidity in my cable compartment please check so your switchgear basically can talk with the help of these sensors yes yes and through this video you are also educating many many customers to uh, to use these type of sensor and let their switchgear talk to them about difficulties it is facing yes now it's basically you that sharing the information. I'm just asking the question out of the curiosity. So uh, that thanks, thanks Akash for joining us today. Uh, Thank you. I think it me. was a really great uh, discussing with you. And certainly, this switchgear monitoring is a is a long topic to discuss. Cannot be covered into one single podcast. Uh, I know that. 
and it's really a hot topic in the industry because it's not limited to only medium voltage it is there in the uh, low voltage and it is also making its way in the high voltage now there are yes. certain parameters which we used to monitor previously but now uh, people are getting more awareness digitization and stuff so it is also definitely entering into that field and it could be a great uh, career opportunity for you as well Yes. So, and Akash, I think, uh, thank you for joining us today. You shared a lot of great insights on the switchgear monitoring, which will definitely help a uh, lot of uh, our viewers. Uh, and by the way, if you want to connect with Akash, uh, I'll provide uh, its LinkedIn profile in the description. You can definitely go and connect with Akash. And if you want to discuss more on the switchgear monitoring or any topic on the medium voltage switchgear. So... Definitely. Thank you, Akash. Thanks for joining us today. It was really great discussing with you. Thank you for having me, Gaurav. Thank you. And see, we'll see you in the next time. So that's the end of part three. We discussed about how sensors are driving the monitoring system and how you can make your switchgear talk, basically. So with all these sensors, you can prolong the life of switchgear. You can have increased the personal safety. You can increase, uh, you know, the availability of power. And there are a lot of advantages to that. I hope you learn a uh, useful information from all this discussion that we have. If you have any questions, please put your question in the comment section below. We'll pick some of the question and try to answer them in one dedicated video. If you are finding this The Electrical Guy Power Panel playlist useful, then let us know that via comment and subscribe for getting more updates because that's how you will be getting the updates. So thank you for watching guys. I'll see you in my next one. But till then, keep watching, keep learning.